this is me. This is how you conduct me. I also edit the um, journal of tourism review, as you said, and the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. And I've just published a book on gamification for tourism. Uh, some of the things that you'll see are here, you know, the, the journal and the encyclopedia, and the encyclopedia brings together knowledge from 1,500 uh, people from around the world, uh, 1,250 entries in 2 million words and 3,528 pages. Uh, we're also finalizing now two books, one on smart cities and tourism and another one, the sharing economy and the tourism industry. So this is a marketing introduction to what we'll be doing. Um, please buy the books and refer the books. And that's a book that we published uh, probably a year ago on gamification. Now, if I bring together the entire encyclopedia, I bring that in this pyramid. And basically, this is the, the essence on anything that is doing that we have got to do with tourism, but also uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a service system uh, eventually that is operating. So what's happening here is that you've got the tourism system where you've got the tourism generating region. This is the demand side. This is the customers who would like to travel to a tourism destination side. And then in the middle, you've got the transit region where you've got technology, you've got intermediation, and you've got transportation that makes sure that these people go from here to there and all the way back. And what the encyclopedia said is that for the system to operate, you need different layers of uh, infrastructure and support in order to make the system operational. So here you've got planning uh, and management and strategies. Here you've got an understanding of the market forces and what's happening in the in the destination, the place of origin around the world. Here you've got the exogenous variables and here you've got technologies and the infrastructure that provide the base, the platforms where all of these things are operating. Now, you can see this. Um, this is part of my introduction to the encyclopedia, but I think this is really critical when you are looking into anything to do with with the system uh, and how it operates. Now, here you've got uh, you've got a, a door so you can you can access uh, uh, this paper now. Before I go into metaverse, I really want to spend a few minutes about smartness because Unless you've got smartness, you don't have metaverse, right? So smartness is really about uh, bringing together the interconnectivity and interoperability of integrated technologies to re-engineer process and data in order to produce innovative services, products and procedures towards maximizing value for all the stakeholders. This re-engineering enables shaping of products, actions, processes and services in real time by engaging different stakeholders. So basically, smartness uh, is, is bringing uh, different players together and different stakeholders to operate together and maximize the efficiency of the entire system. Uh, smartness, therefore, is based on networks, the internet of things and the end of everything, sensors and beacons, Big data and data analytics, social media, web 2 and user generated content, technological enablers, uh, service dominant logic and the co-creation through competition. So we are competing and cooperating at the same time. It's based on this on this uh, pyramid where you've got physical layers, you've got data layers, you've got techno technical layers, you've got business layers and then you've got the experience layers. And um, to do smartness in tourism, you need all of those things to be coordinated and operate together. Now, um, we don't. Oops. So basically, um, what you do is that you that um, you 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 bring together smartness in terms of um, the interoperability, interconnectivity of, serv of of networks that they create mutually beneficial systems. Uh, which creates real time dynamic and adaptive uh, service provision based on customized, individualized and contextualized um, uh, provision of service. So, so a lot of these things have been uh, um, written on the papers that we've done. And what what you 
do when you are looking into different contexts. So this is the context of hospitality where we looked into how a hotel operation, this um, the box here is one hotel that has got internal applications, is then interconnected with business partners, uh, with the big data on the cloud, with decision making and channel management systems and management decisions that they are taking by engaging with the entire external environment and by looking to how organizations can actually uh, maximize their own operating and, and strategic management based on interconnectivity with all the other players. And this is the updated version of, of what we what we're looking at, where you've got drivers of smart hospitality, and then you've got all these foundations that they're enabling this smart hospitality. So the foundations include things like ambient intelligence and collective agility, uh, big data and data warehouses, uh, sustainability and corporate social responsibility, and dynamic process uh, engineering. Uh, within the regional, uh, development and the smart destination. And then the drivers is really people who are trying to create value uh, for all the stakeholders, customer centricity, marketing driven uh, excellence and metaverse. And I'll talk to you about that in one second. And then looking to operational agility, asset management, talent management and supply interoperability. What we are uh, uh, seeing is that consumers are coming right in the middle and around them there is the Internet of Things, the Internet of Everything, uh, RFID, mobile devices, applications and uh, cryptocurrency, sensors and beacons, pervasive computing, gamification, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So what's happening is that you've got the customers right in the middle and then you've got all this technology around serving their needs by engaging different players at the background and by uh, supporting this interoperability and interconnectivity of systems towards value co-creation at the center. There's mobile uh, and there's, there's user portability where the user is moving from one place to another, <coughs> taking advantage of the different systems that they've got and maximizing the benefits that they can that they can that they can gain. This is operating in a marketplace where on the on one side you've got the supply chain and the suppliers who are uh, uh, bringing different offerings in the marketplace. And on the other side, you've got the customers who are using the technologies to come here and co-create value. Uh, so this is basically in any service industries. And in order to do that, you have a lot of data that needs to be analyzed, big data. And in our case, in the tourism industry, you need to have very time sensitive uh, uh, data to be analyzed. So if you're looking at an airport, you really want to know the information right now uh, and what to do with the information that you've got. And you've got all the different factors that are coming together from weather, from um, difficult political situations, what's happening on the airspace and, and, and all of these things. And all of these things are supporting real time uh, access to information and they're supporting <coughs> the ability to to engage with all the stakeholders simultaneously in real time to co-create value. So this is what is happening here is that you've got travelers on the one side, the tourism industry on the other side, and you've got internal and external uh, context. And then you have got mobile devices who are collecting information. They're sending information away with the uh, benefit of creating real time services. So we are concentrating on the now and how now is operating. So if you are to uh, develop a whole range of services, then you come up with uh, uh, a, a, a very interesting real time conceptual framework that brings everybody together. Where you've got smart systems here in terms of uh, uh, in terms of sustainable in, uh, intelligent and interconnected systems that require leadership, human capital, social capital, innovation, technology, and all that to support uh, uh, decision making in real time. Because here you've got a whole range of enablers and real time triggers that uh, that that create requirements and that 
then is looking to the data that you've got towards uh, uh, creating value for all the stakeholders and everybody who is involved in all that. So this is a little bit of a, an introduction, if you like, before I go into uh, the metaverse very quickly. Um, we spent uh, the last year looking to the metaverse and we've created six uh, papers that have just been published on, on metaverse and how metaverse will emerge as a very disruptive uh, technology that is going to revolutionize tourism and, and, the, and, and the different industries. You can see that three papers here have been written <coughs> with many, many authors, some of them you'll know, some of them are, are colleagues from India, um, that we, have this, we, we are trying to define the future of metaverse and we're trying to define and understand how metaverse will change uh, all industries and particular our industry in tourism and hospitality because it's, it's changing dramatically the way that we will be operating. Now, you, we see Metaverse as um, the final end here after a, a sequence of, of uh, technological evolution. And right now, what really excites me is artificial intelligence and, and Metaverse, because these are um, innovating and they're developing a whole range of things. As far as, far as tourism and service experience concern, we started here from the analog situation, conventional experience, then to technology assisted experience, then to technology enhanced experience, then to technology empowered experience. And then we see uh, metaverse creating this elusive and, um, and, 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 and immersive kind of experience that, that it will enable people to experience destinations before, during and after they are traveling. So what we see is that increasingly people will be using metaverse to come up with um, uh, to exploring a destination before they travel. During their travel, they'll be using augmented reality and and uh, in immersive uh, in immersive environments to explore and understand better what they actually see. So if I if you take me to um, an archaeological site or a heritage site or a religious site, I really want to to be part of this and understand what's happening while you're seeing a static um, a static monument or a cultural heritage site. You may be seeing a whole range of uh, supplementary information that's happening on the background to understand what you're actually seeing because quite often you're going to Greece or you to Spain or, or, or to, to, to Italy or, or to Egypt and you see ruins, but you really need to understand the history and what was happening with these ruins and how those those ruins are part of, of the cultural heritage and how we are engaging with these things. And then after, it's quite interesting because you increasingly are collecting a lot of uh, memories, digital memories, uh, which effectively create a, a digital twin of your life, which you may uh, recall uh, later on, or, or you may share with others, or you may engage in kind of nostalgia. Now, in my previous life, I used to be a photographer. So I remember in my youth, you'll go somewhere, take a lot of pictures and bring them back, develop them, and then show them to your friends. So this is now becoming much more immersive and much more comprehensive by uh, having the ability to collect a lot of data, uh, uh, user generated content, very media reads, and then share this, uh, um, this data with, with, uh, with, with a lot of users. So um, we'll see people will be using the metaverse before the actual and the physical visit. They'll be using it during the visit and they'll be using it after the visit for doing a whole range of different things. But this is a continuum of the experience and the service because then they can come back and they can continue. Uh, they can continue in the future. So we see this um, uh, before, during, after and then after. After the after there's another loop that's going to before. Here there's a B2C situation where um, organizations are addressing the consumers, uh, creating content on metaverse, and also we can see a C2C situation where consumers are creating their own content and they are sharing it with, with others, either their friends or people that they can influence. And um, so we see 
that kind of situation where you've got a consumer going through uh, the customer journey before the trip, during the trip and after the trip, and then you've got uh, the tourism industry as suppliers providing information and interactivity, not only on the Web 2 and Web 3 environment, but, but increasingly on an immersive environment. And here you've got the suppliers like the airlines, the trains, the crews, the cars and travel agencies. You've got the suppliers at the destinations like museums, hotels, attractions, restaurants, so on, or the public sector. But here you've got community and peers, people that you know, people that you uh, travel experts, other travelers, and also local people, and that will en en enable um, this individual to maximize value, but also to create a loop for others to come forward and also create value. I don't want uh, to take off a lot of your time. I think in order to develop metaverse, you need uh, several blocks and we need the networking infrastructure. We need the enabling devices. We need the empower platforms and then we need the customers who are um, technology ready and they are ready to use some of these things. Um, so as you realize, this is uh, the beginning of, of uh, a very comprehensive kind of era uh, where we need to develop uh, a lot of future research. Uh, we've identified some of these research that we would like to develop in the future. I very much hope that some of you would like to collaborate and come forward with ideas and and see how we can take those research questions forward and to engage with us uh, in, in the near future. So uh, let me give you again the, the latest um, Metaverse publications that we've, we've done. Uh, um, you can take a picture or you can uh, look for them on Google Scholar. Uh, and I very much hope that we'll engage in this conversation. And that is my contact detail, so you can uh, get in touch and, and, and we can have a uh, further uh, conversation. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, uh, uh, Dr. Mohalis. Thank you.